CIA director slams House Intel Committee for helping Trump forget one huge detail by Dan Lindsay Politics US News for MadWorldNews.com. Ex-CIA director John Brennan has come out of hiding to slam the House Intelligence Committee for allegedly helping President Donald Trump in their recent report, which found no collusion with the Russians. However, Brennan is forgetting one huge detail. According to The Hill, former CIA director John Brennan, who served under Barack Obama's administration, is furious with the House intelligence community for wrapping up its investigation on alleged collusion between Trump and Russia because the facts led the committee to conclude that there wasn't any collusion Brennan's losing his composure and his memory. Breitbart reports that the House Intelligence Committee closed its investigation on Russian collusion on Monday, March 12, 2018. Representative Mike Conway of Texas, who was responsible for running the investigation, appeared on Fox News to emphasize the meticulous efforts that went into following only the facts. Well, the headlines are that we've uh, reached that point where we've interviewed all the folks we need to. We looked at some 300,000 documents, 73 interviews that we've done across the course of this thing, trying to answer the four questions that were originally set out for the committee to answer, Conway said. Yes, the Russians tried to interfere with our election process. Yes, they had cyber attacks, active measures going on. We could find no evidence of collusion between either campaign and the Russians, he added. This was not the answer Brennan wanted to hear, and he retaliated on Twitter by sending out a scathing tweet Leadership of House Intel Committee has traded last vestige of integrity for politics with other investigative shoes yet to drop. Legislators who try to protect Donald Trump will face November reckoning. Hopefully bipartisan efforts in Senate Intel Committee will endure, Brennan wrote. Well, maybe Brennan's memory has suffered after retiring. The only thing he's forgetting is that the House Intelligence Committee is now investigating him for politicizing his former position as the CIA director. Brennan was part of former President Barack Obama's team of errand boys and has a closet full of skeletons to hide. Brennan would probably fare better in the coming months if he adopts a less is more attitude when it comes to opening his mouth. According to Real Clear Investigations, Brennan, along with other Obama intelligence officials who played a significant role in the fraudulent Steele dossier on President Trump, became the new target of the House Intelligence Committee, headed up by Chairman Devin Nunez. The biggest problem for Brennan is the likelihood that he committed perjury to protect himself and his former boss. During the testimony that Brennan gave before the intelligence panel in May of 2017, the former CIA director explicitly denied the dossier factored into the intelligence community's conclusions last year that Russian operatives inter interfered in the 2016 election to give a, uh, Trump an unfair advantage. Another big whopper, Brennan could be in hot water over... Uh, his uh, sworn statement that he did not know who commissioned the anti-Trump research document. Oddly enough, Brennan claimed no knowledge while senior national security and counterintelligence officials at the Department of Justice and FBI knew the previous year that Hillary Clinton's campaign funded the Steele dossier. If anyone is guilty of being political, it's John Brennan. 
The ex-CIA director was critical of Donald Trump during his campaign and spoke to Democratic leaders as well as the press about the dossier. It's also alleged that Brennan played a key role in shoveling accusations about Trump-Russia contacts directly to the FBI while insisting the Bureau start investigating several Trump campaign staffers in the summer of 2016. In the event that our do-nothing Attorney General Jeff Sessions unrecuses himself or steps down to let someone with integrity take over, John Brennan could be held accountable for the findings of the House Intelligence Committee when they conclude their investigation into him and other intelligence community officials who abuse their power for political purposes. We can hardly wait for the day. It's time to bring accountability back, and the previous administration is the perfect place to start. Absolutely. And he's a, and he's a sellout, this Brennan. He's the, he doesn't stand for our values. He stands for totally different values, believe you me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.